We've got brackets from all over the state. They're being set up, and we're going to talk to some of the area coaches to get their reaction to the seedings. And we'll have all the analysis as we start down the road to the shot. And the clock is ticking. So, guys, we're just going to go ahead and get to it. We're going to take a look at Division I, the Toledo District. As we take a look at that at the screen, there you see the District Lima Senior uh, getting the buy as we're looking at the top half of the bracket. And, uh, Mark, what are we looking at? What strikes you out there? You see Finley getting the seventh seed. They'll match up with Springfield there in that second round. Well, first of all, you would anticipate the Lima Senior and Finley are both going to win those opening round matchups, and then they'll play for the third time this season. Finley won the game at Finley earlier this year. They play this Friday night at Lima Senior. A game we'll have on WOSN and a good chance they'll match up then in that district uh, semifinal game out there on March 7th. That should be a good one to look at. And also, you know, take a look at Lima Senior. Lima Senior's had a really solid season. I don't know if you call it a bounce back season, but certainly a lot better than their, their 500 campaign last year. Um, do we think that they're a team that could make a real significant run, especially with, with Finley kind of being in that same district with them? Well, that's an interesting thing because certainly the, the balanced senior guard play at Finley and the younger Lima senior players will be a very interesting matchup. And again, playing each other the third time in that particular game, if they get to that particular point. I, I like Finley's guards. I happen to see Finley on their two best games of the year when they defeated Lima Senior and Ottawa Glandor same weekend. So I have a kind of a bias towards Finley, and I know they've lost seven games on the year, but I have kind of a bias on Finley, and this game this weekend at Lima Senior will help a long way towards prepping for that particular point in the tournament. Finley had some big wins in the season, and we'll see if that uh, translates into the playoffs. We take a look at the bottom half now of the Toledo District, and we see some of the matchups that are coming up in there. It's uh, a lot of the uh, kind of outside of the area teams. Uh, Rogers is in there. Uh, Northview, Northview could make a serious run. They're sitting at 19 and 0. They got that other part, and that could be a uh, a very formidable foe for Lima Senior or whoever comes out here. We're not just going to hand it to Lima Senior, but that could be a matchup certainly worth a, a team keeping our eyes on. If there's a team I would watch in that bracket, though, I'd watch Toledo St. John's. You know, they're 11 and 7, and what Coach Heinzel has done with his team year after year after year as far as bringing a young team along. They're winning basketball games now. They had a win over Lima Senior. I think they're really getting a lot better right now. Would Northview be favored? Yes, they would. But watch out for Toledo St. John's in the bottom part of that bracket. And they have a very deep bench, so they can play a full 60 minutes, and their contributors off the bench can score points as well. Certainly an interesting matchup to take a look at as we uh, take a look at this. You know, going back to, there's just something very intriguing about the possibility of Lima Senior and Finley meeting. Now, again, we don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves. Lima Senior is going to get the winner of, of Bowshaw or Madison and both those teams um, under 500. Just because you're under 500 really doesn't mean you can't make a run in the playoffs. We saw Defiance last year uh, coming to the playoffs at 8 and 13, and they were able to, to push pretty hard towards the, the district final. But you have to kind of look at that from a, from a local perspective, just seeing that you could have the Spartans and the Trojans matching up again. And their matchup was, you know, Lima Senior might like to have another, another crack at Finley after what happened a couple months ago. Well, I think what happens, everybody in Lima knows, and I'm a Lima Senior graduate, so everybody in Lima knows, everybody in Finley knows, that is a, a rival game, and you better strap it up and come ready to play because that is going to be a get-after type game no matter where they can play, and they can play that in the snow, and they can play that in December, and they can play it in the 4th of July weekend, and that would be a game where both teams would really get at it. So uh, I think that's a game that we'd like to see turn, take, uh, come about simply because of our area interest, and obviously each team has games to win before that, but that would be a really fine matchup. 